I do like something a bit different, and this is a very unusual motor car. This is an Alvis TA14 Duncan Coupe. Ian Duncan was the designer of the car. He actually bodied a couple of Heelys to start with, and the owner of an Alvis dealership happened to see this, and he thought it would be rather nice to put that body on a TA14 chassis, which is what the outcome was. And there were 36 were built in total, um, only a handful of, uh, of survivors are known. But this was the car that was used for the press launch, promoted by none other than Kay Petra, the famous uh, pre-war racing driver. And uh, it's certainly very sleek. It draws styling cues from various other motor cars. Somebody suggested Bugatti Atlantic Coupe. But uh, touches of Art Deco very much and uh, luxurious. And of course, being an alloy body, it's quite a lot lighter than the standard saloon, so it's, uh, it's quite lively. Cruises very happily around 60 plus. Beautiful green hide interior, which was done when the restoration was carried out. And of course the coach builder's plate down on the sill. Certainly the colour really does a lot for the lines of the car. It is particularly attractive from every angle. TA14, of course, was introduced 46-47 and uh, it was the uh, 1.9 litre model, basically a continuation of the pre-war 1270. Although it's from earlier models, it's nice to see the traditional Alvis hair mascot on adorning the radiator cap. And with the twin horns, the front does present quite a purposeful appearance. good car for long distance touring because the boot is uh, extremely capacious and it's a comfortable car. It's certainly very comfortable touring for four people. Despite being a two-door design it's very easy to get into the rear. Very spacious as I said. that nice coach-built funk of the door 